For years, teachers have been trying to convince me that the United States looked like the maps they showed us in class. They couldn't fool me, though. I knew better. I knew that Cedar Knoll was the center of the universe. <laughs> After all, I'd been born there. I'd always lived there, and as far as I knew, the rest of the world rotated around Cedar Knoll. My family's going to Snipperland for summer vacation this year. Boy, am I jealous. I hear it's the last year for Paws on Parade. Ooh, thrilling. And they got this new ride there, the Growling Canine Coaster. That sounds so fun, doesn't it, Louie? I guess so. Gotta go. See ya. What about you, Louie? Where's Colonel Anderson taking your family this year? I'll tell you where he's taking us. He's... He, he's taking us to Snifferland. That's right. This summer, that's where we're going, Snifferland. That's where. So, baby Lucy Lou's going to Snifferland this year, huh? So? You mad enough to go on the Growling Canine Coaster? You bet I am. I've got my own Growling Canine Coaster right here. Oh, no more. Sorry, we, we don't have tickets. See ya. Yeah, see ya, Louie. Since there's no line, I'll let you go again for free. You're all hard. All aboard. <laughs> oh, no, they the Can we go to oh, Stephen Dad? Please, can we go on the last year of Pause on Parade? Can we talk about this later? Look after you two finish college. Hello, dear. All right, I can't get them off me. Get me my crowbar. I want to go to Sniverland, Dad. Where's that? Fresno, California. What are you, nuts? That's in California. It's on the other side of the world. For summer vacation. Are you forgetting something, Louie? We're going to the Civil War reenactment camp for the summer. Oh, again? General Grant, and yet another rebel. We do that every year. I want to go to Snifferland. Me too. Tell you what, boys, I'll make you a deal. This year you can both fight for the North, and I'll fight for the South. Of course, don't expect the same outcome. General Lee, I got another Yankee. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, what do you say, kid? Oh, Dad, come on. Come on, Dad. Andy, maybe a change would be good. What are you talking about? Change is never good. And it's usually more expensive. It'd be good for the boys to see California. And I could use the trip to add to my salt and pepper shaker collection. Ah, oh, yeah, just what we need. We'll be the envy of all of our neighbors when the great salt and pepper famine hits Wisconsin. Show your father the coupon, Louie. If we go to Sniverland before July 4th, this coupon gives our whole family 50% off admission. I'm sorry, Louie. But the answer is definitely no. Absolutely not. No way. Uh-uh. I don't think so. Oh, uh, well, you have to bring so much stuff. What do you think we're moving? Uh, what do you think? Hey, pal, any chance of helping a veteran out? Did you bring the camera? Of course, dear. Because I want to capture every moment at Snifferland. Hey, you two shutterbugs ready? California eh, is not going to come to us. I can't wait to ride in an airplane. Me too. We've never been on a plane. I hear they give you free peanuts. Don't forget to dust the salt and pepper shakers twice a week. Bye-bye now. I won't forget. Okay, have fun, everybody. Yes, they're gone. I've got records. I've got the snacks. I'll call the boy. <laughs> Next train. Dad, we're taking a train. But I wanted to fly in an airplane. The train is better than an airplane. We'll get to see much more of the country this way. Not to mention it's half the cost. Besides, we're traveling in the plush car. You hear that, boys? The plush car. Oh, oh, look. There's the Mississippi River. Whoopee. Man, that is the biggest river I've ever seen. Don't you want to take a picture of the Mississippi River, Louie? Oh, I hope I was using the proper shutter speed. Comfy, boys. Uh, yeah, I spared no expense. When it comes to my family, only the best. Excuse me, Stuart. Where are the plush beds? 
The plush car is our cheapest fare, sir. It doesn't come with beds. Oh, we don't need beds, Louie. These seats will be just fine. See, you practically melt right into them. the train, Dad. We're running out of time. Pause on parade stops in three days. And? And that's when our coupon expires. I can't move my head and you're worried about a coupon. And we don't get there in three days, it'll cost you double. Get our bags. We're getting off this train. Are you sure this is such a good idea, Andy? Of course it is. We'll walk to the next town. It's probably only a couple of miles away. I feel sorry for those fools who stayed on that train. Who knows how many days they'll be stuck on that old thing. <laughs> right on, Dad. Hey, Dad, how long did you say the average human could survive without water? I'll have you know. Ah, it's coming! Ah. Howdy, strangers! Trouble? Of course not. We're just getting a little exercise. So, where are you heading? California. Well, I'll take you as far as I can. Hey, something wrong with your neck? What gave it away? The awkward position of my head or the look of excruciating pain in my eye? What's that down there? That there's the very first shopping center in the state. It's called a mall. What's that? It's a big building with all kinds of different shops in it. Do they sell salt and pepper shakers there? Are you kidding me? They got a store in there. That's all they sell. You think maybe we could make a little detour? The man's not landing the plane just so you can buy a few trinkets, honey. Don't be silly. I'll be back in a jiffy. How much salt can one family eat? Man, we're running out of time. We've got to get to Snifferland. Aren't these priceless? Yeah. Priceless. I wish they were weightless. Did you remember to get my muscle ointment, honey? I'm sorry, dear. I just didn't have the time. Ah, skipped again. Literally. Louie, why don't you take a picture of the mall? I smell a cancer. A mall? What a dumb idea. Take my word, kids. That'll never work. Hey, Mr. Mill, can you get this thing to move any faster? Stop holding this baby back. Give her some juice. There's too much weight. Don't you know anything about flying? I served my country 5,000 feet up in the air. I earned my wings making this world safe for democracy. That's what I know about flying. I don't like to brag. <laughs> but MacArthur once said if it wasn't for my aeronautical expertise, the war would have gone on an extra year or two. Mind if I give it a go? Sure, if you think you can get it to go any faster, then be my gift. Hey, please, no time. You can't <laughs> uh, hey. <laughs> Oh, how about a skull? <laughs> yeah, that's a lot better. Look out for the... Oh, 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 oh. I'll show you a little trick I learned from a couple of flyboys over the skies of oh, East wait, Africa. No, no, no. Yeah. Oh, you can't go over. Ah. What do you think of that, kid? <laughs> That's great, Dad. If you could smell. You belong in an asylum. You know that. What's the matter, Mel? Afraid of a little competition? Louie, how'd you like to learn how to forage for food? Do I look like a muskrat? I think I see a bus station. See any donut shops? 
I'll sneak down there and see if they're friends or foe. Good idea, Dad. Who knows what evil lurks in the heart of Colorado? You got that right. Follow me and stay low to the ground. Don't try. I'm so excited! A genuine Rocky Mountain salt and pepper set. You can't find anything like that in Wisconsin. Mom, must have something to do with the Rocky Mountains not being in Wisconsin. This backpack is getting heavy. I know, Louie. You're so strong. Could this bus go any slower? Louie, we're gonna miss Paws on Parade. I'll see what I can do. Now you be polite, dear. Any way we can pick up the pace here, miss? I'm going as fast as I can, sir. This is my first time driving on mountain roads. Well, there's your problem, dear. I'm your man. You are? You bet there, dearie. Who do you think led the 15th Armored Division over the Swiss Alps? You? You're darn right it was me. Why don't you let me relieve you there, soldier? It'll help you to watch a professional do it, huh? <laughs> well, okay. You sure you're okay to drive with your neck like that? You kidding? It helps me see around the corners. Over, uh, over here. What's with the commotion? Look out! No problem, all. I've got everything under control. <laughs> Dan, <gasps> rock slide. <laughs> Feel used. Ah, uh, must want to give me the key to the city for saving everyone. Reckless driving? Since when is saving a busload of Americans considered reckless driving? It's a mad world, Dad. Well, the next bus doesn't leave till next week. Next week? Yeah, the river washed out the road. It's just impassable. Dad, we'll never make it in time to see Pawns on Parade. Did you say river? Have fun, and be careful! Reminds me of the raid I led on the Koala Island. All we had were five men, two rafts, and one Swiss Army knife. Whoa, check it out! The Grand Canyon! Isn't this beautiful? Louie, don't you want to take a picture? Uh-huh. Attention troops! Choppy waters at 12 o'clock. What time is it now? Let's make camp for the night. We'll go to the top tomorrow morning. How are we supposed to get up there? The same way everyone else does. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Come on. You think I can't get up the hill without you? Is that hey, what Dad, you think? Reach into the top. I heard that. Be careful, boy. There you go. This stubborn donkey won't take any orders. Come on, Jasper. Get inside. Oh, good boy. Oh. <laughs> Mark my words, donkey. We will meet again. Dad, what are we gonna do now? Tomorrow's the last day of Pawns on Parade. Not to mention the last day of the coupon. Don't worry, I've got everything under control. You always say that. People. I think I just found our way to Fresno. <laughs> Ooh. Nice balloon you got there. Thanks. How much you rent it for 24 hours? You know anything about flying a hot air balloon? You know who the first person was 
To fly a balloon across the Atlantic. You flew across the Atlantic in a balloon? That's right. Hit England, just kept going, passed right over the Berlin Wall. Rescued a few prisoners and then headed straight back. Now, uh, how much to rent this balloon? For an American hero like you, no charge, sir. Well, that's mighty patriotic of you. Dad, you don't know anything about flying a balloon. How hard can it be? I mean, it's not like anyone's trying to shoot us down. Whoa! Whoa. Yeah, how hard can it be? Cool. Oh, my, how pretty. Wow, look at that. Whoa. Dad, do something. We're going to crash. Andy! We've got too much weight in the balloon. We need to throw something overboard. Louie? Yeah, Dad? How about how much you weigh, Louie? Don't even think about it. All right, let's throw the luggage overboard. Dad, it's not enough. Oh, here, how about this? Not your collection. Yeah, Mom. Hey, but we need to throw something overboard quick. Well, can't you find something else? I did, your brother didn't go far. Just give me a moment. Today! Hey, Dad, I got an idea. Oh, Ooh, gotcha. Oh, cool. Nice thinking, kid. Like they say, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Oh, Louie, thanks for saving my salt and pepper shakers. Well, we didn't want to risk our food supply. We'd get us there on time. Thanks, Dad. You're the greatest dad ever! You got that right. You better get that coupon ready, Lie. Sniffleland, here we go. All right, we're the first ones here. Uh-oh. Hey, Dad, why isn't anyone here? What's with the rhymes? Orlando, Florida. How far away is that, Dad? By plane or balloon? I'm afraid it's on the other side of the country, Louie. Oh, perfect. Uh, Louie, I thought you said Snifferland was in Fresno. But it says so right here, Dad. This comic book is over two years old. Oh. <laughs> now, what are we supposed to do now? Oh, I have an idea. Don't even think about it, Aura. <laughs> Are you listening to me, Aura? Stop right there! About space! Aura? Dad broke down and bought his plane tickets back home. He figured we'd save money in the long run. What have they got in Orlando? Nothing but swampland. Mark my words, nobody's ever gonna go there. As you're seated on the left-hand side of the aircraft, you can get a good view of the Grand Canyon. Where is it? Yeah, great view. I went on the Growling Canine Coaster 12 times. It was really great. Oh, it's too bad you didn't make it to Snifferland, Louie. We made it a couple of months late. Ah, oh, you missed the final pause on parade. I know, I missed it all. And all I have to show from my vacation are these lame pictures. What are they pictures of? Yeah, what are they? Let me see them. You took these? Wow, where'd you take this one from? I took that in the hot air balloon. You got to ride in a balloon? Yeah. That was after my dad did some sky riding in the plane we were flying in. Neat. Yeah, and after our bus almost fell over a cliff. Oh, no way! And then, we went whitewater rafting through the Grand Canyon, and a snake almost ate me. You're lying. No, he's not. Look at this. That's amazing. Louie, you had the coolest vacation ever. You think so? Yeah. What else did you do, Louie? Tell us more. Yeah, well, we rode jackasses from the bottom of the Grand Canyon to the... I learned a couple of things from that vacation. First, I learned that sometimes the best trips are the ones you don't plan. And second, I learned there was a great big world outside of Wisconsin. And you know something? I was the only kid in town who knew where the Colorado River was. Not to mention having survived it in a raft. You are so lucky. There's some pepper shakers in my trophy case. My trophy case! Where are all my trophies? <laughs>